Hello YouTube, this project today is install uh, Mac OS Catalina from Patcher. Um, I know that I'm, I'm trying to install um, a version in a 2009 iMac um, A 1225. So for this, I'm going to need two things. Borrow a newer MacBook to download the software and a 16 gigabytes uh, memory, USB memory. Uh, at least 16 gigabytes because the file is big for Catalina and now the first thing you have to do is prepare your um, micro um, micro USB I mean your USB memory that you're gonna use for this gonna go to um, this utility so you're gonna try to open this utility and the first thing you have to do is erase that uh, USB memory and you're gonna erase it and the you know in the current um, options like uh, Mac OS journal it and you can put a name on it if you want as you can see right now I'm accessing to the memory right here so you click over the memory I already did this process and I need and I name it by um, memory volume so as you can see, I already did uh, the whole thing. So what you do right here is press, um, I mean, click and erase. And you leave the options like they are in the bottom. And all you do is name it if you want. Or if you, in my case, I name it volume. And as you can see, it's Mac OS extended is what it is after you um, change everything. But when you are preparing it, um, you have to choose Mac OS journal it, uh, extended journal it. So that's the options you have to um, choose when you're doing this. So I'm not gonna do it right now because then you just hit erase. I'm not gonna do it right now because I already did the whole process and I wanted to show you what you do, what to do first. That way you, you have your memory uh, blank and prepare. And after that, What's coming up next is you go to the new, uh, you go to the website. As you can see right here, I'm already in the process of, uh, in, uh, being like download, downloading the, and installing the Catalina version. I actually already download the Catalina because when you download Patcher, I will show you in a minute the website you're gonna go and the program you're gonna download. And as you can see in the back, and the screen on the back, there is the program that I opened it for doing, doing this. The program is very easy to use. It show you, um, it asks you what you wanna do. And the first thing it's gonna ask you when you open the program is if you wanna download a version from Catalina or you have a version, you tell it to download a version straight from uh, Apple servers, uh, servers. So right now, what you write down in your browser is um, Mac OS Catalina Patcher. And it will take you to this website. Once you are in this website, you click on the, you go actually go in the, the website and you download the, the latest version, which is gonna appear right there in the website. After that, you're gonna see, you see the little icon right there where it say on recent downloads, you will see patcher. You open that file and don't try to do double click. So, I recommend you to do the two finger uh, click to get options and then you 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 um you select open and that's going to open that screen that you see in working right now and right now what the thing is doing is creating um sorry because I uh, jumped one of the steps but right now it's creating the bootable memory as you can see I got my memory connected and I select the, the name volume as, as I told you before. But before this process, you have to tell the patcher uh, tool to download the version of Catalina. So um, now what it comes next? Um, what it comes next is gonna be that you, after this is over, this will take a little while, trust me. This will take hours. I mean, like it will take an hour, two hours or 
three hours to do it. But the good thing is once you do it, uh, you don't have to do it again. I mean, you'll have a memory which is you can use in multiple um, um, on-support MacBooks that they didn't get uh, to update to Catalina. As you can see, uh, I am creating the memory and it will ask you what the disk you want to select. So you have to select the memory. Remember, I named it volume, so that's what I select and, and I did hit continue. One of the other things that I would like to mention is while this tool is downloading Catalina, which is the first step before this I'm doing right now. So this is basically the second step in the process. Uh, uh, if in the process you have to be, look, I mean, pay attention when it's downloaded, you have to make sure to be connected to a pretty good Wi-Fi. I mean, fast, very fast Wi-Fi if you want to download fast. So now, as you can see, a time later, I'm still doing the bootable. The tool still creating the bootable memory, bootable installer. And as you can see right now, it already finished after three hours. And I just didn't count how, how long time. I mean, you can spend all your time right there. You hold the option key. And when you hold the option key, when you turn on, and you have, of course, you have to have the memory connected. You select here, where you say FE. So you select that, and when you are in this option, you got to open this utility. When you open this utility, you have to go earn. Basically, if you had something before in the other computer, back it up to another hard drive because you're going to have to erase the hard drive, the main hard drive, as you can see right here and you hit delete and it have to be done in an APFS format. So when you hit erase, you're not gonna select Mac OS extended journal, you're not gonna uh, select different things. You name it if you want, but you, what you wanna select for the main hardware where Catalina will be installed is APFS. Okay, once you delete it, you proceed to install like reinstall Mac OS. And when you hit that, you will see a window like this. Then you proceed to the steps you agree and proceed to the steps. Um, and now you will be able to select the, the drive and continue, you know, and then you wait until it completes the whole process. Um, it might finish by itself maybe if you get distracted or go somewhere else it might finish by itself and in the reboot it might get stuck what you do is like restart a computer so one important step after the installation is that you have to reinstall the patches after installation so you once again you turn on the computer you hold the key option and you go back here to the installer and now you select uh, Mac OS post install and then you see you select continue and um, what I'll do in this case I will select as much as I can because I don't want to be with errors that are pre-selected and I'm going to select them all just to make sure I got everything I need in my computer and now I will hit apply once you finish this uh, last step which is a post install patches, you're really gonna need this to, in order to have a fully function Catalina installation. And then as you can see, it already finished. It will take some time also, and I have it here. So in system preference, you will see this. Thank you for watching.